Welcome back to Herb Matic. Quick recap of the abandoned backyard bomb shelter is, we went down there to explore it, and we found this little tiny tub down there. And it was really weird because the wife immediately took a bath in it. Then the wife said I had no stamina and left in disgust. So I tried to prove her wrong by tapping four consecutive holes in a row, but I got this green drip. I tried to get back with her, but she said, No. So I had to come up with a plan to really wow her in the bedroom. Make it steeper. I even came up with blueprints to really wow her. But then I caught this guy cranking it in my shop, so I cut down the fence to find him, but he was gone, so I got a higher perspective to see if I could spot him. Anyways, back to the wife. I decided to do my baiting dance to really lure her back. Uh, but as you get older, it's harder and harder to get these things up. Uh, I mean, you can do it. So I ordered some supplements from China, and I could feel them working. Oh, it's always better to have that extra inch, fellas. You know what I'm talking about. It's nine inches. So they worked pretty well. Then I put on my best skinny jeans for our date, and then I did this so that nothing would happen too early. But then she okay, said see this. See this little white switch right there? This depresses it. What's worse is I found this under her pillow, and then I found this in her top dresser drawer. So I gave up and I bought these awesome sweatpants to relax and I got my own toys. Pretty soon the wife came sniffing back around the crime scene and tried to lure me back into her web with womanly ways. But little did she know she can't compete with Charlotte's caboose. I mean, I'm a mortal man, who could resist that? So she got pretty upset and left. And then after a while I got depressed. I grabbed the yellow pages and I ordered Taco Bell, but the convulsion started right away. You know how it goes. And so I had to do a pretty massive cleanup. I mean, it did take a little while. I even had to bring out the wet dry shop vac. So then I bought some cool motorcycles and a matching tattoo to go with them. And I even started working out and I get in shape here. And you can see the results here. I think they speak for themselves and the wife couldn't resist coming back. I mean, of course she couldn't. She did squish my drink, but I forgave her and we made up. Feels warm and humid. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll catch you guys next time. Very cooler <laughs> and hot. I think I watched and uh, that made the wife pretty upset. She tried to get out of here, but uh, the, something went wrong with the elevator. Uh, but I persuaded her to stay. <laughs> so we decided to bring the romance back into the relationship and try to make things work. Draw me, Jack. And to stop chasing his tail. And uh, we just started having fun, you know? We started dancing together. And pretty soon we were inseparable. Uh, I started to love my work. And the wife even decided to join in. She saw how much fun I was having. We still have our vices, you know, as everybody does. You know, I have mine too. And uh, she's begun to learn how to live with Charlotte. You know, we're all getting along pretty well. Anybody that watches the channel and doesn't subscribe has to watch Twilight on repeat. Now pour yourself a drink, get yourself a little snack, and uh, watch this episode. It's a beautiful day. I got the wife out here gonna help us with the bomb shelter a little bit. We got our little helpers. Cool. Lights, lights, baby. Come on. All right, so I'll go down first. That's, that's what she said. You want to take that one too? If you think it can fit? I think they can both fit in there. Okay, you, you just work out how that's going to do it. Okay, I'll take this one, Leslie. <laughs> and they both fit, that's what she said. This is actually how redheads are born. They come, they come from deep from within the earth. Oh, Jesus, go ahead. <laughs> Like that, like that. No, oh, please. It's good. Please mind the gap. What she said. You're really, uh, really just throwing them at me. We had the AC on for just a little while. It got rid of the humidity, but the temperature has just dropped in the area and now it's just always 70 down here. It's perfect. So we have this vent. We got that cleared out in an earlier video. What are you looking at over there, babe? Some holes, more holes. There's some holes in this house. There's some holes in this house. There's some holes in this house. Okay. <laughs> certified, <laughs> certified freak. Seven days a week. This whole atomic pipe make that Fallout game week. <laughs> These are the holes that we're worried about here. Is where does this go? 
And where does this go? Now it looks like conduit, but there's actually venting connected to it. So today we're gonna to be using this little endoscope here and you can get this off our Amazon link. That's right in the uh, description. And that's a good way to help support us here on the channel. And uh, this thing's pretty awesome. There you are. All right, let's stick this in the hole. We'll see if all this fits, I don't know. Oh, it's gonna fit. <laughs> so which one do you wanna explore first? You wanna explore that one first? <gasps> Good luck. <laughs> okay, look in that Ew. one there. What's that one look like? Oh God. Oh, that's a, that's a risky choice. <laughs> you gotta do it. <laughs> Well, if we're gonna explore that one, I'm gonna need something to stand on. Would you grab me something, honey? Oh, good, the slidiest one we got. Yes. It's gonna be fine. It doesn't even slide though. Oh, this thing looks pretty safe because it's got the armrest so that I can't fall off of it. And it's handy too, because you can swivel to where you need to look. Now let's take a look in here. I did it. Let's start recording so you guys can see what we see. We'll just hold down the okay button. What's nice about this camera too, is it has a side camera. So we're gonna switch to that one. Stick it down the tube. Oh, it looks pretty clear so far. Okay, so we're at the base of it. Okay, I'm basically at the back. I'm gonna see if I can switch cameras. We'll start recording. Okay, so it goes, it goes up. Then I can't tell where it goes after that. Do you want me to hold it while you do that? Wow. I'm pretty smart. No, this is unruly at all. It's just the way you lay cable. <laughs> this is about how it goes every time. No, cable something else. Laying cable something else. You don't know anything about that. Come on. Oh my gosh. I need to see in there. Okay, I don't know why it won't. Okay, there we go. We made the turn. So now let's, let's go. This is like pushing rope though. Yeah, it's hard to, it's hard to steer it. All right, well, there's that one. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Let's check out this one. Let's check out this one. Or hole two. Okay. Let's see. Let's go into our second hole. Here, it makes a turn. So let's, let's switch cameras. Okay, so it turns down that way. Probably need to check your nose so that, you know, you don't have anything embarrassing on camera. <laughs> Let me see here. No. Okay. <laughs> Remember what we did last time? I put a little, a little uh, pipe shaped loop in there to keep the camera kind of centered as it glides along. Oh. Okay. On the, on the other vent before. Okay. Let's 
she wasn't just skating along in there like that. You still advancing or not? Oh. Oh, what is that? Oh, rocks. How original. Hang on. Yeah, see where it turns up again? Mm -hmm. I wonder if it's connecting to the same spot on both of them. Oh. Okay, so let's go check that first one again. With this new swirly on the tube. Okay. Mm. Bless you. Thank you, baby. I'm gonna make more swirlies here because it wasn't enough to stabilize it. Let me see it. Does that look pretty good? Okay. Perfect. Okay, so here's, here we go. Let's see if we can just see up that pipe this time. I can see right up it, but it doesn't, I can't see anywhere in there. Does it cross over? Where is it going? It's tough. I kind of wonder if we should just search for it at the top and start well, sucking up rocks. This uh, edge here is kind of sharp. This is making a hard time making a corner. So let's try this little hooked piece that came with the kit. Now it'll obviously interfere with our view, but maybe it'll help us make a turn. Hey, we've got around the corner. Hey, we're going back. Making a U-turn. Let me give it just a little bit of ramp. Oh. Oh. <laughs> no, you pulled it out. <laughs> yeah. It's another room. There's people in there. No, I saw that label. Oh. I'm seeing something back there. I wish the camera would go up there, but it's like super floppy. Yeah. Oh, that chair worked pretty good. Come in. I'm being beckoned. <laughs> never try, never trust that. <laughs> I didn't like that noise. Okay, we're back. I've recovered from my fever. I. Last time we were digging in those holes, I got like a fever for uh, for about a week and I had like a 103 degree fever. It was pretty awful and pretty sweaty in, at night in bed. Sweatier in bed than usual. So <laughs> anyways, uh, okay, to get that camera up that hole, I'm gonna use these, these fish sticks. <sighs> these fish sticks are pretty handy, um, but just because you, you like them doesn't mean you're a gay fish. All right, next we'll grab our poop snake. God, this thing's heavier than I remember. Now I'm not feeling unwell or anything or constipated. I'm gonna use it on the pipes. Okay, we've got the poop snake and the fish sticks. Now I just need some electrical tape. Where do we keep that? Right there, perfect. And uh, some snippers. Let's get these bigger ones. Perfect. So you guys, this way you want to have a well-organized shop. You want to have everything laid out as flat as possible so you don't have to dig for it. Hi, Pearl. Well, we're waiting for the rain to calm down outside and I discovered something pretty cute. I was futzing with this. <laughs> Let me oh. see if I can send you with the poop snake. I don't. Oh no, okay. No. Go ahead. 
negative. Should we close her in there, guys? If we close her in there, at least she's got a vacuum to, oh you know, entertain her. She's got her favorite toy. Her head's a vacuum. <laughs> Doesn't even make sense. Ooh. Just kick it off. Just slide it off the end when you get down there. You don't want to get on here? Oh, I'll go with you. you afraid to get close to me? Ah, I keep touching that, Ew. That, that part. Ew. Don't touch that part. <laughs> hey, you forgot to unload the poop snake. I can't touch that. Ugh. Better not find one hole in this house. There is some holes in this house. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> She's wearing a red jacket. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, have these ever touched poop? No, the fish sticks have never touched any poop. All right, I couldn't get, uh, to help us get that camera up there, I'm gonna try taping it to these fish sticks. You can put the tip of one fish stick into the end of the other and make them longer. Now these are traditionally for film, uh, for fish and wire, you know, for electrical and stuff between studs, but we're going to try it out. I'm going to give it just a little bit of slack so. So it can bend backwards and look at you. So it can mess up, yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'll regret that, we'll see. I've got our horribly awkward apparatus now. We've immediately covered the lens with uh, spider webs. Okay, let's turn her on and see what we can see. Are you turned on? Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> oh, you need me to hold the other end of your fish stick? Uh, uh, yeah, but not on camera. Does it help the video that my midriff is hanging out, or is it... <laughs> Does it not help in the video? I don't, <laughs> Doesn't matter. I, I'm still trying to figure it out. Still trying to figure out this YouTube thing. Midriffs are in now. Are they? Mm -hmm. That's good. I'm, I'm on top of the fashion stuff. Are Fruit of Loom sweaters in? I hope so. I don't know. See the turn? I've got this thing sort of making the turn. Now we're going up, up the hole here. My camera got tilted a weird direction. Oops. What was that? I'm gonna try switching cameras. Let's see what else I could see. Stuck in there. Both ways. <laughs> okay. I'll take your fish stick. Just take half of it. Too much of a good thing. <laughs> hey, don't be putting that there. <laughs> get taste. If I get a taste for the fish sticks, I might run off. Or not. Oh, I see another weird joint. What do you mean? I see a weird joint like in the pipe. I'm trying to figure out what I'm seeing. Turn. 
It's almost like the pipe gets significantly bigger as it goes on. Oh, hang on. It's really odd. Yeah, check this out. See. Hmm. It transitions from like a metal to almost like a large clay pipe or something. What the heck? I don't know where it's going. That's really weird. You did it. What the hell is that? What is this? Some kind of plastic stuff that came out of that pipe. Let's try sticking it in um, the other hole. The other hole. Okay. Looks like it makes it turn this way. It's a whole mess of rocks. You guys can see that there. Yeah. So imagine that. This one makes several turns without any obstructions. I just can't really fish it much more. But this one has rocks in it. So what? Uh, let's go. Let's pace this out. Let's pace out the room, and then we'll go upstairs and pace it out and try to figure out where this comes out and maybe we'll dig it up. 13. 13? Twenty-eight this far, this one. They're four feet apart. Okay. But now I feel like I might have miscounted. <laughs> okay, well, 47, 52. Did that really mess you up? <laughs> okay, come on, start from this wall again. Okay, you're there. <laughs> okay. you get 27 <laughs> 27 to which one <laughs> let's do let's do two out of three no no it was to 27. the farthest one to to which one the farthest one yeah last time it was 28 27 28 is the same thing okay my, and i then, think it was my fancy footwork <laughs> uh -huh, i think so i think your feet got a lot bigger in that move so but for the width was what 13? No, I don't remember. Yes, 13. That was it. So 13 and 27? 28. 13 and slash 28. Slash 27. Slash, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go upstairs. Jesus. <laughs> She's not so good with measurements, guys, because I've been telling her that this is nine inches the whole time we've been dating. So she's kind of confused. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna guess it's about right. I'm gonna guess it's about right here. Put uh, your guessing rock there. My guessing rock? I'll just make a mark. 
Don't be throwing a guessing rock at me. <laughs> <laughs> or throw it over here. I was, oh, are you sure? Yeah, throw it over here. I don't okay. think you're gonna get it very far. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was in no danger. <laughs> okay, hang on. I got, I got a new guessing rock. Don't throw any more guessing <laughs> rocks. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna guess it's like right here. Don't throw rocks at me. <laughs> Don't. You stop it. No, I'm I'm using my feels to guess. Okay, so here's my guess. Yo, hold on. Let me get in tune. Hang on. Are you doing your walk already? No, you're not <laughs> guessing. You're just <laughs> counting it. You're just cheating. <laughs> Do your actual walk off. Quit messing around. This is a walk off. Okay. You were way off. Put your rock there. There's the corner. Once again, I've overguessed the size. <laughs> Dude, don't go down there. Wait. Is that about what you got? No, that was 30. Why did you do 30? <laughs> 28, here's the last five. Wait, okay. between, it's in this area. Uh, oh, step back where it was. No, come back. No, you gotta throw it at me. That's about exactly where it was. Right here. So that's where the pipes are. Yeah, so your rock was like 13 feet off or something. It must be about right there. Start digging. Bring out the suck it. We're finding more and more uses for that couch. Some rocks, but it's not, not a lot of rocks that we're getting out, you know? Yeah. I hear like a rock every few seconds or something. You want to take another look and see what it looks like here? Mm, I'm going to suck it some more. swinging around like that. Oh, because my, my arm gets tired. It works really well because it kind of pulls itself along. Well, you guys, <clears throat> for as loud as this vacuum is, I could still hear the wife nagging. So, you know, you wouldn't think so, but so I got these. There we go. Ah, uh, so I just have to wear these until the vacuum makes me deaf enough, you know. Now, I don't want you guys getting excited by any of this, okay? In an inappropriate way. We are strictly just trying to clean the pipe. Okay, let's check it out. That's what I got so far. Okay. Okay, let's check our progress with the camera here. as clean as a whistle. Did you find more rocks? Um, it's either a rock or some kind of animal's carcass. Uh. Is that a valve? What the, what is that? can't tell what's going on there. Before you pull it out, like keep track of... How long it is? Yeah. <laughs> I know that game was you. <laughs> I'll put my thumb on it and then we'll see. <laughs> That's how far I'm getting. And I'm hitting okay. a blockage. So that was about like right here, guys. It almost seems like it's joining up with this pipe over here, but I can't be positive. Sophisticated problems. 
call for sophisticated solutions, you know. I gotta start making this YouTube pay. Uh, so how, how does this look? Is that, is that gonna help, you think? You know, let me know in the comments, you know, if you think this, you know, I want you guys to kind of help steer the direction. You know, before you guys said I was doing too much music, so I cut it back a little bit, you know? So how about the skin? Okay, let's see how this is. Feel too stable. Perfect. So we always want, we always want uh, safety first around here at Herbomatic. So you know we're just. That's why we're using two clamps up there. You know that's twice as safe. Start. Oh. Let's start wrapping these straps in here. Like that, maybe, huh? Let's see how that looks. That looks great. Oh. I don't like the way any of this looks at all. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's get the electrical involved too, you know? Oh my god. Want to use your face to help support. Hello? Hello? Okay, I had uh, dropped my microphone at some point along the way. I don't know when. This is what we've got. We've got all this secured very nicely. We've got our wires tucked out of the way. And this is our little foot switch. Listen to this. It's pneumatically controlled. Hear the relay? I'm gonna squeeze it. So what that does is uh, it's, it stops you from having to lean on an electrical switch for, uh, you know, because you're dealing with water. All right, let's plug all this in. This is looking great. You know, a lot of people <clears throat> talk about having a retirement plan. Doing stupid stuff like this, I may not need one. Gotta turn her on. Perfect. She's torquey. So I don't know how I'm gonna actuate this little pedal while I'm up here. Now what we're gonna do is pull out some of this poop snake here and start sending it up this pipe. And then once the pipe, once it's bottomed out up there, we'll start to spin it. Okay, I've kind of bottomed out. Okay, so now while I guide this line here, I'm going to have to activate the pedal with my knee down here. Let me see here. Ah, ah. So this, yeah, okay. Okay. Ah. Uh, nope. Okay. So, all right, let's try this again. Okay, so now we're gonna balance again here. Get our knee. Maybe I could do it with my elbow. Oh, you know what I'll do? Let me see if I can stick it under my armpit. Okay. Jesus. Let me see if I'm getting anything. 
Okay, yeah, we see we're hitting rocks again. More rocks. Huh. This might be slow going with this particular tip. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, it's just, it's just more and more rocks. I mean, those are my landscaping rocks, so that's a good sign, huh? Same as my landscaping rocks. Maybe it's coming up. Ah. You. Well, I couldn't reach the end of the pipe. So the only solution for that is going to be more hose. Or longer hose. So we may have to do a little operation here. Okay. Nah. <laughs> Since we seem to be having trouble pleasing the pipe with uh, this tip here, let's try uh, try a different one. Yeah, I'm touching the poop end. Yeah, I've used it before, but poop. Uh, I think poop goes away after a while. It just kind of floats away. So let's go on our various poop tips here and see what else could be better. So I think for kind of digging, I think this little tip here, these, uh, these here are only for the wildest. All right, so we'll just put a little tip in here. Now that we've touched the greasy snake, we'll put on our gloves to lock the grease in, you know. Getting a little bit of binding. Ah! So we made this, which is good. We'll uncoil that. Well, it doesn't want to go back in the drum, so we'll hang it over here and we'll. This looks like the same size hose, so. Oh, look, it's kind of just plugging in together. It's 2023, so you can put the ends of these hoses together like this now. It's fine. Uh oh, getting a lot. Wow. I'm getting a lot, guys. A lot of rocks. Oh, yeah, this is working great. Yeah, see that? This is working so good. Let's grab our armpit switch. You can also bite this with your teeth. Um, so, you know, you guys go ahead and try that and let me know how that goes. Taking that out for a second. See if we have anything on the tip. We got some mud on the tip. Don't mind. There's a little mud on the tip. It's what's inside that really counts or something. It's going in almost the entire hose length here, which is probably seven feet long. But I would tell the wife that this, that this was like 14 feet long. We've gone up like seven feet and the floor down here is 13 feet down. So if the ceiling is eight foot, we might be getting, we might be getting close to getting out of here. Now it travels sideways and then I'm assuming it goes up like that one does, or maybe it even connects to that one. This method of snaking it out and then sucking it out seems to be working pretty good. So, 
that's just gonna be awful, but we'll do it. When you, when you look at what's going on here, I just want you to remember that I have an engineering degree. So I went to college and now this is what I'm doing. So think about your choices to go to college. Not all the jobs when you get out of college are super glamorous. Sometimes you've got a poop snake hanging from the ceiling and you're balancing the little, the poopy switch in your mouth or in your armpit. You know, they're never gonna tell you that at the school. That's the thing, they want you to think it's gonna just be this glamorous thing, but. Hmm, chunk of rust came out when I pulled out the snake, so let's hopefully, hopefully everything's okay. Oh yeah, it's a lot. All right, let's try it. Let's try it with the curve going the other way. Sometimes they like that. I'm gonna go check top side and see if I can see anything. Let's dig in these pipes some more. Suddenly just kind of went through all of a sudden, like throwing a hot dog down a hallway. So I don't know what that's all about. And the good news is, I'm really training these armpit muscles to get real, you know, my motor skills are getting really refined. So if this YouTube doesn't work out, I could probably figure out something I could do at the truck stop with this, you know, with these newfound skills. That's plan B. So please subscribe, please. I'd rather, uh, I'd rather not have to go to plan B. Let's put our vacuum. Oh, this vacuum is very, very heavy all of a sudden. So it's picking up a lot of rocks, like a lot of them. So let's put our vacuum on the couch here. So our hose is just a little bit longer because we're coming up short. We can't figure out a trick here to get our hose a little longer. She'll start talking about her ex, you know. There's a corner in there somewhere that's kind of hard to get around. We'll get around it. No, we made it around the corner. Oh, it's got my hand. That sucks. It's got my hand pretty bad, guys. That didn't feel good at all. Yeah, look what it did to my hand here. Look at that crease. Um, so poops uh, are pretty hard to grind up. I mean, I know mine are. So that thing's pretty powerful and it, it'll snag your hand, especially if you're doing stupid stuff like I am. This curve on the hose both helps and hurts because what I'm doing is I go through the first curve like that, and then when I get it in there, I go to twist it to get through the next curve, which I assume is upwards. I, I might be wrong. So I've been wondering if that pipe and that pipe were connected. You see that little spider web hanging down? So that's not moving at all. So these pipes are maybe not connected, or there's still a clog between them. It looks like a chimney for like a wood burning stove or something like that. I, I can't be sure where it goes. It's definitely a pipe in the ceiling, so. <clears throat> there we go, made it around the corner. Okay. More rocks, it looks like. I'll spin it around a little bit. There's another turn. Let's see which way that goes. Okay, we switched cameras. I'm gonna try to spin the cable.
Hmm. I would think that would be vertical, but I don't think it is. I think that's horizontal still. I don't know where that's going, guys. I just can't, I can't imagine. We're definitely making progress, guys, because uh, let me see if I can show you how many rocks we've sucked out so far. This was empty when I started. I mean, that's what we got going on now. Which is quite a bit, it's rocks and dirt. I'm kind of wary of the snake after it caught my hand yesterday. Maybe we'll play with it anyways. First thing I need to do is repack this thing. Seems like the, the snake and the drum itself is all messed up. My snake is all bound up. It happens when you get older, but it uh, looks like we can pull the drum by just pulling this pin out. So why don't we, We'll just leave that a jar. Let's just slip this belt off for now. Yeah, it's spring loaded. Let's see if we can pull our drum right out of there now. I have this metal rod down here. Let's see if, let's see if I can stab that without stabbing the electrical cord. But this is kind of like a palm hammer here. See if we can shock it. <sighs> you know, this whole clean out project, I thought, you know, I didn't do it because it's easy. I did it because I thought it would be easy. There it's going. Okay, okay. Okay, here's a coupling here. I snuck into the bedroom and grabbed these, but uh, I'll put them back before our next date night so I don't get in trouble. You guys should consider subscribing or I'm just gonna keep putting in more greasy you know, scenes like this. If you're just hanging around watching the videos but not subbing, this is the kind of stuff you're gonna have to look at. Stuff like, you know, this. So, you might, might wanna consider subbing up. Save yourself and, and me. Good, I brought down the grease but no way to clean myself up. Now we're getting greasy down in the bomb shelter, guys. So, I know that's what everybody wanted. Oh my god. Oh shoot. Forgot this rub ring that goes in between. <sighs> Nothing's easy, huh? Although now it goes in and out of that hole reasonably well. <clears throat> That's what she said. Come on. Wow. Okay. Put our little rubber ring on. Little what rubber ring right here where it fits nicely. And then we'll put our drum again. Now we'll feed our belt on the drum just like you did your chain as a kid. There it goes. Our little retainer here. So our drum is reinstalled. So now we know how to do that. So, you know, if you got jumped on YouTube today and said, you know, I really, I'm not a plumber, but I really want to know how to take a poop snake apart. Now you guys know. And you guys can put, you can put that right on your resume and try not to get my hand bound up in the snake today, I hope. We'll see how it goes. You know, it's not, you can't always have a perfect day. Sticking her up there. Okay, we'll let her work right here. She's fighting a little bit. This might be the farthest we've got. We're pumping her up there, guys. And she's shooting straight up there.
She's a little bit wound up. Let's see if she unwinds up there. Just pull her back out for a second. Oh God, she's up there a mile. I mean, we're like, it's really clear. There's like hardly any rocks in there or anything. I mean, like it is spotless. The snake goes right in quite a ways. We're making progress. It's just, it feels slow going. I just don't know how far we have to go before we get somewhere or if we're getting anywhere. See, this goes in there and it whips around and uh, knocks any crap loose. In this case, it's not crap, but dirt. My armpit muscle's getting tired. I'm gonna be disappointing the long haul truckers. I think this is the farthest we've ever gone for sure. Wow. It's just shooting right up there, guys. No, no. I think I can hear sound from this pipe. I gotta go upstairs. We'll go upstairs. Well, we don't have stairs because we're not peasants. We'll take our private elevator. Kylie, come on out. Hey, are you decent? Well, come on out anyways. Hey, babe, come check it out. Wanna show you, you know, you say I don't do anything around here, but, uh, you should check it out. Oh okay. God. What do you, uh, what do you think of that? The heck? It's... Was it just rocks? It, it was seems just... like it was rocks and dirt and look, there's some kind of tape or something. Some kind of tape, uh, that was covering the like hole. Like, a, like duct tape. Yeah, they duct taped it and then covered it up. <laughs> so, it's real permanently closed. So, yeah. I just wanted to show you the newest addition to our parking lot. 
<laughs> There's a sinkhole. Cool. With a poop snake hanging out of it. I need you to hold that thing while I uh No. I run it down there. No. I can never trick her into grabbing any snakes, guys. <laughs> but uh I'll one day. It. It's just the most I can get is foot stuff around here. So <laughs> <laughs> look at your pacing, Rock. You're way off. You're off by like two feet or something. Look at that. I was well the pipe turned. That, sh that was for the other pipe. I don't want to hear any excuses. It looks like it's going to rain. Should we like get some duct tape? We should get some... <laughs> cover it up. <laughs> get some... What, what if we covered it with duct tape and a layer of dirt and rocks to protect the pipe? <laughs> you know, so that, so that it doesn't, uh, you know, nothing happens to it. We need to protect our asset. This pipe is going to make us millions, Kylie. Yeah. I'm not sure how yet, but... Yeah. I'm working on that part. You get these holes out of here. These, <laughs> there's definitely some holes in this house. Here, check it out. Let me see if I can get you guys focused in there. It's hard to see, but there's dirt down in the hole. <laughs> and the snake is sticking out through the dirt. All right, guys, we freaking got it. They said it couldn't be done, and we got it done. What do you think, babe? Are you fuck, are you, are you pumped, babe? We got it, guys. When they said it couldn't be done, we got it done. Everybody, everybody doubted us. For years, they doubted us. We got it done, guys. Oh, this Here it is. Thing. This specific Here, this, thing, they were doubting us. They were, they were. They, we got it, guys. You guys, we got it. Come on. So, we freaking got it. We freaking got it, guys. We got it and stuff. We got it. And now we're gonna Woo! put her in the hole. No. So we got it. Nobody can stop us now. <laughs> we got it. We got it, guys. <laughs> peed a little bit. You, you peed a little bit. Come Jumping over. around. You're so excited about this. <laughs> to finally see my hard work pay off. Is, stop that. <laughs> oh my God, get out of here. Go back in the house. Did you guys see how on like the above ground footage, the birds were hopping around as soon as that snake came out of the ground? They, uh, they wanted to eat that thing. All right, let's see if we get this thing down here. Oh. All right, something very slightly concerning. Look at this sand. This is just actual like sand, like deliberate to over the vacuum there. And I thought it was coming out of the pipe itself. Okay, so from this rim here, what happens is oh, when the uh, hose is vibrating this, sand is coming out from there. So what I'm guessing is this pipe goes through the roof here, and then they filled it in with sand. So I don't want to keep agitating that. What I'm going to do is, where it's rusted through, I'm going to try to fill this in with some silicone or some kind of sealant. Yeah, the rest of this plate is like 3 16 thick, but this, this uh, pipe in here is just standard like chimney flue pipe, and it looks like it's rusted out a little bit over the years. So. Okay, here we go. Oh, I see light at the other end of the tunnel. Oh, wow, that's cool. See that, guys? Look at that. We're clear. We're, we're there's a few rocks up here, but we'll get those out later. Here's our turn. Let me see if I can shove it past that turn. I'm losing a lot of sand out that little gap. Okay, let's try uh, changing cameras. Okay. 
Okay, let's rotate that. Hmm, looks like, oh, there you go. That's out in the yard there. So we're completely clear, guys. That's the sky there. How cool is that? All right, the reason why we wanna put this tape in here is I'm worried that I'm gonna try to come down to my bomb shelter one day and it'll just be full of sand. Oh, I could feel a breeze coming out through here. Pretty good, actually, pretty good breeze. All I did was tape up around that where the sand was coming out, just for now. So if we look down in here, if you look down in there, you see that this pipe is vertical and the other pipe, this wall is straight. There's no curve on that back wall. So that's why I wasn't able to get around it with the vacuum or the camera. But the snake, see the snake will twist and it'll pop its way up there so the snake could get up there. Yep, yeah, so that's just a 45 degree cut on those pipes and that's a flat back wall. That's why we couldn't make that turn. That makes a lot more sense. And this looks like it's a uh, galvanized pipe sticking up out of here. So that is cool, guys. We have <laughs> we have two vents now. We have the first one right there that was a lot easier to get cleaned out. And I built a stack for it in a previous episode. And now we have one at the other end of the shelter. So, and air is flowing through there immediately. As soon as I got it open. I can see my ladder down there. Oh my God, that's cool. <laughs> Look at that. The image is a little dirty because the lens got dust on it on the way down. There it is, guys. There's the shelter. <laughs> that is so cool. That is so funny. Imagine if you just had this hole in the ground and you stuck a camera in there and then you saw a couple of chairs way underground. A couple of chairs like this. Just way underground. Hole in your yard. A couple of like 60s weird uh, oyster looking chairs. So that is cool. Okay, we'll pull our camera out if we can. Looks like we can. I thought I was gonna have to go into there and un, un beehive it, but I don't have to. Yeah, they probably cut this off because it was a post sticking up in their parking lot. Now I'm gonna end up with a post sticking up in my parking lot. In another episode, we'll have to build a stack with a cover just like that other one, and we can hook up some ventilation to this. Or we could even put a wood-burning stove down there, which is what it kind of looks like they had. Yeah, and if you want to get a hold of us, guys, leave a comment down below. The wife's been waiting for me to finish this project because it's our uh, it's our date night, so uh, I got to go back down the bomb shelter. I forgot our grease down there. Our, you know, you know, our bottle of grease. You know which one I'm talking about. The red grease, the the high temperature, the high temperature grease. <laughs> She's pretending like she doesn't know what I'm talking about. What are you doing? Hey, what'd you kick that for? What's the matter with you? <laughs> well, I've got to go maintain the wife, so see you guys later. Do you have anything you need? Uh, yeah. I think I have another bottle of, another jar of axle grease in the shop there. It's a fresh one. Maybe I'll pop, I'll, I'll even open the new one for you. Cause I love you. <laughs> her little, look at her little.
Switch Peace.